So I am going to take you through assessing distributions for the probability external paper. So this is what you need to do. You, you'll be given some kind of distribution and asked to compare it with a normal distribution. So the steps you should go through is to take the distribution that you've been given, and it's probably from data collected. Um, it will give you some sort of suggestion of how, it, how they want it to be modeled by a normal distribution. Then you go through and you do some checks and comment on whether or not you agree with it being modeled by that distribution. And you must include some calculations to compare them. You're going to look for the key features and look at the tail ends or perhaps the middle section and compare the probabilities. So we're going to do it for this question here where Carl is running this cafe and he's measured the time in minutes it takes to make cups of coffee and recorded how many were made within each time interval. So for example, um, you've got uh, six here that were made in an interval of two to three minutes. Um, now he believes that this distribution could be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 4.5 minutes and a standard deviation of 1.2. So we're going to make some comparisons with this distribution that we're given here and that normal distribution that was suggested and see what comes out. So we've got these um, two graphs. We've got the first one here that's um, the histogram of uh, what he recorded in his cafe. And then the second one here is the normal distribution that he's suggesting it could be modeled with. So it has a mean of 4.5 and a standard deviation of 1.2. So we're gonna run through the things that you should um, compare. So first of all, have a look at the shape. The histogram is somewhat bell-shaped. It looks a little bit like the bell curve. Um, it's unimodal, meaning it has one peak, um, just like the normal distribution. And the mean could be 4.5 in the middle of that four to five interval. We, we could go through and work out um, exactly what we estimate that mean to be, but that's um, that's quite a, a lengthy calculation. So we'll just say that it, it could sit there in that four, in the middle of that 4.5 because that's a fairly symmetrical shape that we've got. The median on the histogram is the 29th value because we've got 57 of them. The 29th will be um, right slap back in the middle. And if you add up the 6 and the 11, the 29th, um, value will end up in that category of four to five um, here uh, that we've got in the middle section. Uh, so the mean on the normal curve is 4.5. That means that the mean and the median are very similar. If that um, median lies between four and five, it will be close to that mean of 4.5. On a normal curve, the mean and the median are equal. So that does match up with the properties of a normal curve. We now need to do some checks on the probabilities that come off of each of these graphs. On the histogram, the probability of a wait time being more than six minutes is 0.105. Now I picked that because that was actually asked for in the previous part of the question that you haven't seen here. Um, it doesn't actually matter what you pick. We could have said, what's the probability of it being more than seven minutes and compare that. I'm just using this one because we had the calculation already. So that's this section here, we've got six of those cups of coffee took more than six minutes to, to make. So that six out of 57 gives us 0.105. Now, if we do the same thing on our normal curve, we're looking for how many would have um, been above the six. So what's the chance of a cup of coffee taking more than six minutes to make? So it's this right hand tail. Now you do your regular normal calculations, um, pop it into a calculator or read off the table to find out what's the probability of it being more than six on that normal curve. And that comes to 0 0.106, which you can see is very similar. There's only a 0.1% difference there, or 0 0.001. So that's also supporting this claim that it can match up to the normal distribution. Let's try another one on the other side. Uh, um, so on our left-hand tail, on this histogram, the probability of the wait time being less than four minutes is 17 out of 57. That six and 11 together make 17 out of 57 total gives us a probability of 0.298. If we do the same thing on the normal curve, what's the chance of the wait time being less than four on that curve? It's going to be this tail to the left. And with our regular calculations, we work out that that comes out to be 0.388. 
These probabilities are quite similar. This It's not as good as the first one that we did, um, but there's only a 9% difference. So all of these features would support Carl's claim that it can be modeled using this, the normal distribution that he suggested. Now, I'm going to go ahead and argue things the other way as well, because you can actually, um, there's no right answer here. You could argue for it being the normal distribution or you could argue against it, uh, as long as you support your claims. So let's have a look at the counter arguments. Um, when you're answering this question on the exam, you only need to argue one way. You don't need to argue them both. You need to make a decision to go uh, one way after you've done your calculations, make your decision based on that. But for the purposes of showing you how this could go, I'm going to show you both ways. So first of all, we can look at the histogram and say it's not actually symmetrical. It's missing a bit of a tail on the left. So it doesn't match up to the normal curve in that way, which is symmetrical. In a practical sense, it's also not reasonable to have a left hand tail. If you think about what we're measuring and the time it takes to make a cup of coffee, it won't be possible to make any cups of coffee in less than at least a bit of time. Um, so maybe that two minutes is the limit of how how quick you could make a cup of coffee. It might not even be possible to make a cup of coffee, coffee in 30 seconds or a minute and a half, say. Now do some probability checks. So for this one, I'm just going to show you um, a probability of there being a wait time between four and five minutes. So that's our middle section on the histogram where we've got 24 people that um, where their coffee took four to five minutes to do. So that's a probability of 0.421. If we take that same interval on the normal curve, so between four and five and run our calculations on that, we get the probability to be 0.323. Now that difference is not really close enough. We're getting to a 10% difference now, which is, is getting fairly significant. Um, so these features that we've pulled out don't support Carl's claim that it can be modeled using a normal distribution. Now, like I said before, uh, you wouldn't argue both ways. If you do, you'd be contradicting yourself. But what you do is run through that process of checking the shape, um, have a think about where the median and the mean might be, uh, do some probability checks and then decide which way you're going to make your call, whether you agree with the claim that it can be uh, modelled by the normal distribution or you disagree.